Hello friends, welcome to New Tech Navigators. In this video, you will learn how to create the dynamic charts in Power BI using the field parameter. We will show you three different examples of the field parameter to create the dynamic charts. Here you are seeing the first example that is we have created the total profit by country chart and this is total discount by the country and this is total sales by the country. So we have taken three metrics here total profit, total discount and total sales and all of these three charts are by country. We have given here select chart axis slicer and we have selected country because we have selected country so these three charts are by country. If I change it to the product then you can see all three charts have been changed with the product axis and this is the segment okay so this is totally dynamic you can just select the axis and the chart will be changed accordingly in the another example we will show you how you can change the matrix this time we are taking here total discount by country total discount by segment and total discount by product so we are taking the three different axes but the matrix we are taking same that is total discount but if you want to show the total profit you can just click the total profit is visible or total sales then total sales is visible you can take more parameters also if you want now in the last example we will show you how you can make it more dynamic in the single chart we are showing the dynamic axis as well as dynamic matrix also so we have selected here country and the total discount so this is total discount by country you can see if i select here product then this is total discount by product you can see the product name on the axis or segment this is total discount by segment I can select total profit also this is total profit by the segment and I can select here product total profit by the product or total profit by the country or you can select total sales so total sales by the country total sales by the product and total sales by the segment this is very useful whenever you have the less space on your dashboard you can use this trick to make the dynamic charts now let's flip to the power bi desktop application to show you the practically how we can create these type of dynamic chart using the field parameter okay here we have this financials data and we have three majors so let me show you the data first we have this data wherein we have the sales country and then we have the discounts and then we have some other thing like product name and the all information segment etc we have created three majors also we have taken here total discount that is simply sum of discounts and total profit sum of profit and total sales that is sum of sales that's it now we will show you how you can create first the normal chart so let's create the normal chart first so let's take this chart or let's take this cluster column chart first so we have taken the cluster column chart and i'm keeping this chart here now let's say i'm creating the normal chart for the first example that is i'm taking here axis country and the y axis let's say i'm taking total sales so this is the chart total sales by country you can quickly format this also as you want from the format and let's go to the title and here you can take the background color for the title let's say this dark color and font color take white align this center and make this bold okay you can do the other formatting also but here i'm not going to the other formatting because i would like to show you the how you can create the field parameter now let's go to the modeling and here in the parameters we have this new parameter option we have the numeric range parameter and the field parameter we will create the another video on the numeric range parameter but for now we will show you how you can use the field parameter let's click on the field parameters this is the parameters window and here we have the field parameter you can select the numeric range also but because we will learn about the field parameter so let it be uh, field parameter let's put the name of the parameter so first what are what i'm going to do i will create the parameter for the axis so let's create here axis parameter okay or whatever name you want to keep you can keep that now from the financial table we would like to take the country just check that the country will appear here and then we will take the product so you can 
pick the product and move here that is also the bay to move it to the field parameter and then we will take here segment you can reorder this from the formula we will show you how you can do that or you can delete and add again let's create this so it has added burn slicer here okay you can change the formatting of the slicer as you want let's say i'm taking this new tile slicer and then our slicer will look like this and let's keep the axis parameter slicer here and we can change the field name like select chart axis okay and you can format this slicer further if you want and if you click it will look like this or you can keep it as it is to format this you can go to the format and from here you can change the shapes let's say in place of rectangle i want to take the rounded rectangle and in the call out value i would like to align this center and then and then i'll go to the buttons and here i would like to take the selected and i would like to fill the different color so let's say i'm saying just fill this color here and take the text color in this case okay so we have filled this color so let uh, keep this formatting now the important thing what we will do here on this chart let's go to the chart in place of this country we will add the axis uh, parameter so you can just click here and you will see one new thing here that is axis parameter so let's select this and check this now if i click on the product then you can see this chart is changed to the product and you will see the change in the values as well as in the axis and in the title also you can add the data labels from here let's click and add the data label so if i click on this segment then this is by segment okay and you can quickly change that country segment or product okay now let me show you one more example just make it duplicate and uh, this time we are creating for the matrix also let me put here page number two and uh, let me show you how you can create for the matrix also so what i'm going to do i'll just uh, insert another parameter for the matrix the field parameters and i'm saying select matrix and from the majors i'm taking all three matrix you can change the number as you want okay just click on create so it will create another uh, slicer here here you can see it has created the slicer for all of the majors so let me delete this slicer because i want to use the another uh, existing slicer so that we will not format this now let's go to the format go to the build and just delete it from here and add the new parameter which is select matrix this one so we have added this to the slicer okay in this case you just have to make sure you enable the slicer setting and enable the four selection and same for the previous one also just make sure it will select only one at a time and it always should be selected okay so now here what we will do we will remove this access parameter and let's put here some fixed thing like i want to create by the country so let's keep the country here but for the y axis we will keep the new uh, select matrix parameter so that it will select automatically like this is the total discount by the country or let's say profit or let's say sales okay so that is how you can create this dynamic one now let me make the duplicate of this page and then i will show you how you can quickly create fully dynamic so let's take this page 3 and uh, let's keep here another slicer so we will delete this country and here we will take the this parameter also and uh, we will copy that slicer from here so let's copy this slicer from here and let's paste this slicer here so we have two slicers here one for the matrix another one for the axis now if i select here country this is the total sales by country or total discount by country or total profit by country or i select here product so all matrix will work for the product okay so that is how you can create that now let me show you the code of this uh, parameters which will be created automatically so i'm just clicking on this access parameter then here you can see the dex code here so you can create new 
item from here also or if you want to change the order this is the order 0 1 2 you can change it as you want so the arrangement of this will be changed for example here first we have the country then product then segment i want to show the product first then country so then how you can change it you can take the uh, one here for the country and zero for product and if you take this and then you can just sort this here you can see the product is on the first and then the tree okay so that is how you can use the field parameter to create the dynamic charts in microsoft power bi friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching